Hey guys, Katie July. It's contact time. Um, I'm wearing a tank top. What? What? Because it is summer. Not really. It's the end of April. Um, I can't actually wear this to work. I'm going to have to put on a cardigan. But it is super hot here in New York. Um, and I feel like it happened overnight. Suddenly it's, you know, 88 degrees. So I was thinking a little bit this morning about last summer versus this summer. And I've been wanting to do a contest. So I thought, why not do one about our summer goals? Um, so here are the rules for the contest to break it down. Um, just post a video response. I think will be the easiest way. And let us and everyone know three things that are different or that will be different this summer compared to last summer. And you don't, you don't have to be post-op for there to be differences, obviously. And then also tell us three goals that you have for this summer. Um, we will close it on May 10th. So it's a little bit more than a week. And I'm going to put together a little care package of my favorite foods. I'm trying to think of like other things to send in the mail, but we all love food. Let's be realistic. So I will put together a care package of my favorite foods, my favorite goodies and treats and delicious stuff, um, and send it out to the winner May 10th. So definitely do it before. So then I made mine. Three things that are totally going to be different this summer compared to last summer. The first thing is shorts. Um, I bought my first pair of shorts last week, as you guys know. These tiny little seven-inch board shorts, I mean, not that they're, they're not like tight on the legs, they're not crazy sexy or anything like that, but it is awesome to be able to pull on a pair of shorts and walk around and not just be sweating under pants. And I'm really excited to rock shorts all summer long. Um, the second thing that's going to be different is being able to sit outdoors more. And the big thing for me, there's a tons and tons of restaurants around here that have patios and outdoor seating, but I used to hate them last summer because I would just get so sweaty, like always, 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 always overheated. And I never had to wear a jacket when I was, you know, 290 plus pounds. So I'm really excited to be able to stay outside this summer and enjoy patios. And the third thing that's going to be totally different is my birthday, which is July 18th, um, last year on my birthday, I was, I, weight loss surgery wasn't even in my brain, which is sort of crazy, but every year I get really upset on my birthday because I'm 20 years old and weigh 250 pounds, I'm 21 years old and weigh 260 pounds, I'm 20, you know, on and on and on, and every year I vow, when I hit my birthday next year, I'm going to weigh under 200, and this year it's going to be true, which is so exciting, I'm going to have to think about another you know, birthday wish for myself now that my health is finally coming in line. Um, and then three goals that I have for this summer. So one of them is that I really want to learn how to play tennis. I've never played before, and they have tons of courts around here. Um, and Becky is a huge athlete, actually. She played, you know, sports all through high school and stuff. I played golf in high school. That was my sport. Um, and poorly at that. So I'm really excited to learn how to play tennis, even if I don't like it, just to try it out, you know, just to give it a whirl. The other thing is I really do want to run a 5K, and I realize I should just pick a date and sign up for it probably towards the end of June because my training has been pretty spotty. You know, I did the first week, but then it took me two weeks to do the second week of running. So I'm going to pick a 5K, and my goal is to run it, even if I don't stay a runner forever. I really want to run the 5K because it was totally on my fantasy list of things I would never be able to accomplish, and it's exciting. I'm going to accomplish it this summer. And then the third thing is a little bit more abstract, but one of my big goals for this summer is to stay focused, and I think that kind of has two parts um, in terms of, you know, my health. One is that I have vacation plans, vacation plans. My mom's coming to visit in a month. I'm going to go to Cape Cod for a week in June. Hopefully, I'm going to go to California in July. And I don't want every month to think that I have a week off in terms of being focused on getting healthy. Um, and also, just as I get smaller, it's easier, I can kind of see, to be happy with where I am and so to not be pushing as hard in terms of, like, I really want to lose two pounds this week. You know, suddenly it's like, one pound's all right. You know, I don't want to get comfortable and fuzzy and slow myself down even more. So it's a little bit abstract, but I really want to stay focused this summer. 
um, and make it to goal. Not that I have to make it to goal this summer, but you know, I want to be closer at the end of the summer than now. I don't want to maintain. So that's how my summer is already going to be different and the big goals I hope to accomplish this summer. And let me know some of yours. Hopefully this, this will get us pumped up for the warm weather. I'm super excited about it. And I will be sending goodies to whoever wins. So hope you guys have a good week. Bye.